Can we talk about organic friendships? <laughs> now you guys are probably like, oh crap, what's she doing? What is she? Why is he? Why is she on his background? Look, if you guys are familiar with the Proud family in any way, then you are familiar with Penny's Proud, with Penny Proud's supposedly best friend, Dejanae Jones. Again, can we talk about organic friendships? So I was doing some research, right? And I was like, yo, like, well, first, like me and my wife, we've been watching like the new Proud family, right? And then I was like, yo, it just hit me. I said, yo, Dijanae always done Penny Proud so dirty, like literally dirty, like been trashing this girl. She got a big mouth. She don't keep her mouth closed. She tell everybody secrets and you can't tell her nothing. She's not reliable, right? So when I looked it up, I said, yo, how many times did DJ Nate do Penny Proud dirty? And it said only four times she was a good friend to Penny, but six times she was an actually worse friend to Penny. That don't even make sense. Wait, so think about it. You've been a good friend four times and you've been a worse friend six times. How long we been friends? Why are we still friends? I want you guys to understand this of how many DJ Nate Joneses are in our lives and we keep allowing them to stay. When will the cutoff point be? You know what I'm saying? When you cut people off, they are in a certain state of mind. You know what I mean? But when you bring people back into your life, that person that you cut off is not supposed to come back the same person. So what kind of healing did DJ Nate have to go through to keep being Penny's friend? Or is the issue Penny? Think about it. 